Hey guys, so we're going to go through the steps of what to do after you've installed a hard drive. It's really simple. So you've installed a hard drive and you've gone into uh, this PC and you do not see your second hard drive that you've installed. No reason to freak out. What you have to do is you right click on this PC go to show more options and go to manage what we have to do is initialize the new hard drive so it can be used so we're going to go to disk management and it's already picked up our new disk that we've installed you must initialize disk before it can access it okay we're just going to hit OK now you can see that our second hard drive here has been picked up. Now, if you look, it's still not picked up here. And that's because we need to create a partition on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to click on new simple volume. And then we're going to hit next. We're going to hit next again and here it's giving it a drive letter you can change that if you wish but it's usually best just let it uh, windows take care of that we're going to hit next these are the settings you can label it whatever you want to label it I'm just going to leave it as this since this is just to show you we're going to hit next and then we're going to finish it's been formatted. We have a new partition. It's showing up under autoplay. And if we now go back to this PC, we now see our new hard drive space showing up here. Now this is a virtual machine, and that's why it's only a 10 gig virtual drive that I've made just to show you. But that's how you initialize a disk after you've installed it into your computer. I hope that helps. See you next time.